Windows Vista comes with a program called Paint. Paint allows you to take pictures and manipulate them, like add text to them. And in fact, I'll show you also how to copy those and put them into your Word document. For example, to open up the Paint program, go ahead and click on the Start button, and then click in the Instant Search and type in Paint. And there it is up at the top. You can click on the Paint program, and it opens it up. What I'm going to do is I want to be able to open a picture up in the Paint program and make some changes to it. You can see you can draw in the Paint program. You can add text by clicking on the letter A. But let me click and drag the header bar here and move the Paint program over to the right because in my exercise folder I have a, an image I want to work on. Let's double click on it to open it up. And let me click on Smile and I can work on that image. Or how about the child? I click on that. Let's work on the child. So this is the program I want to open up in Paint, okay? Now I can click and drag this image over here onto the Paint program. Click and drag it and it'll bring it in. But let me go ahead and click on the Paint program, do File to New, so it starts over again. And let me show you the other way to get it into the Paint program. Let me close out of here. Click and drag the header bar of the Paint program out in the middle here. And then do File to Open. And then go to my desktop, click on the desktop link, because my exercise folder is on the desktop, right? Double click on it. And there's the child computer. Double click on child and it opens it up here. You may find clicking and dragging much easier. Let me maximize this so I can see the complete picture. And what I want to do is I want to add some text down below. Maybe something like learning is fun, learning is easy. To be able to add the text, I want to add some text below the picture, but you see I have no space to add it because it's all grayed out. I can either add it on the picture or I can see that little blue dot there, the blue sizing handle. If I click and drag that down, it'll give me some more white space. Then I can come over here and click on the letter A where it says text. And then you see how my pointer turned to a little cross there? I can click and drag a box. And then once I do that, it does two things. It allows me to type in text. And up here, it allows me to format the text. So for example, I can change the font to Arial. And maybe the size. Let me click on the size arrow to maybe 12. And then make it bold. And then change it from Western. Well, maybe I'll leave it just the way it is. And then just come in here and then just start typing. Okay, let me click and drag and hit the backspace key. It just works like WordPad when you're typing in text. So, okay, so I don't have everything capitalized, but you get the point. Once I'm finished, I can click and drag and select it. And then I can click and drag the header of the fonts toolbar down so I can see the colors. And then go ahead and click on a color. And once I click on a color here, you can see it's red. I won't see it down here until I click off in a blank area and it updates. And then when I'm finished, I can go ahead and save it. If I save it, it's going to overwrite my original with this. Maybe I want to keep the original, so maybe I'll save it as another name. Right now, it's child computer. I don't want to click save. I want to save it as another name, like file to save as. And then I'm going to click on the expandable button, click and drag the header up. And it's going to ask me two questions again. What's the name of it? If I leave it the same name, it's going to overwrite this. I don't want it to do that because that's my original photo. I want to be able to maybe delete it and say child2 or maybe just hit the backspace key and type in learning for kids. When I'm finished, I can go ahead and save my work. Click save and it's done. So to view it, I can close out of here, go back to my exercise folder because that's where I saved it, double click on it, and there's learning for kids. Okay. Once I click on it, you can see the preview down below, but if I double click on it, Hey, there it is. Computer learning is for the kids. That's pretty cool. If I want to put this in a Word document, I'm going to close out of here. The next thing I want to be able to do is open this up in Paint again. Now I can open up the Paint program here again by typing it in here, or instead I'm going to click off in the folder area here. Instead, what's easier for me is to right-click on the actual file itself and go down to Open With and find my Paint program here and just left click it opens up in the paint program. Now this is my original, okay? Let's say I want to send this picture in a Word document to a Harry Plopper. All I have to do is go ahead and select edit to select all. It's going to select the whole picture. You see these little lines around the picture, these little blue dashes. After I select it and I say this is the picture I want to copy, then go back and say edit and copy or control C. So when I left click on edit to copy, I can minimize that screen if I want to keep it open. And then I can minimize this screen and double click on Harry's letter. And let me hit, let me click at the end and hit enter a couple of times. 
and I'm going to click somewhere in a blank area here so I can paste that picture. And you see my paste button, it's already highlighted. I can click on paste, and there it is. Maybe he'll sympathize with me more saying, look, I got to feed my children here, so a wand is 45 grand. In any case, you can go ahead and paste it in there. It makes it look nice. Be sure when you're finished to go ahead and save your work. Click on the Save button and then close out. Now, for those of you who don't have Microsoft Word, but just WordPad, how will it look when I open up in WordPad my Harry letter? When I right-click and I go down to Open With and I say WordPad, looks just as good. Still has the picture there, but it's in WordPad. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.